Hi, everybody. My name is Scott Walls. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. During that time, I've taught thousands of people just like you how to discover, use, deploy, and support Oracle's back office applications. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you what a pillar is and what the ERP pillar is in particular within Fusion or Oracle Cloud. Please note that this lesson is part of the Oracle Cloud Explore course. But before we get started, did you know that you could earn free discovery badges for display on your LinkedIn profile just by watching videos like this one? You can. Stay until the end of this video and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. Key topics for this session are as follows. Application organizations, we'll go through a recap slide. Oracle Cloud Pillars. ERP Pillar Offerings. Offerings to Functional Areas. Functional Areas to Applications. Oracle's Definition of ERP. And then finally, how to stay current. First topic, Application Organization. Let's start with a quick review of how Oracle organizes its software as a service applications. First, Oracle Cloud uses pillars at the highest level. Each pillar has one or more offerings. Each offering has one or more functional areas. And each functional area has one or more applications. To learn more about Oracle's application taxonomy, watch the application organization lesson within the Oracle Cloud Explore course. Second topic, Oracle Cloud pillars. Here are the five pillars within Oracle Cloud SaaS applications as of Q3 2021. First, the HCM pillar. This pillar is focused on human resource related applications. Second, the ERP pillar. This pillar is focused on finance related applications. Third, the SCM pillar. This pillar is focused on supply chain related applications. Fourth, the CX or customer experience pillar. This pillar is focused on customer facing apps, also known as CRM applications. And then finally, the EPM pillar. This pillar is focused on narrative reporting. To learn about any pillar in detail, watch that pillar's lesson within its Discover course. Third topic, ERP pillar offerings. This slide shows the main offerings for each pillar. The ERP pillar offerings are shown in the upper right. They are as follows. Procurement Cloud, Financials Cloud, Project Portfolio Management Cloud, and Risk Management Cloud. Note, offerings are largely used to group functional areas and apps for sales purposes. They correspond with what Oracle calls bundles. Bundles are usually referenced during licensing or BOM, BOM, Bill of Material conversations. To learn more about bundles or licensing, watch the SKUs versus bundles lesson in the Oracle Cloud Explore course. Fourth topic, ERP pillar functional areas. This slide shows the functional areas for each of the offerings within the ERP pillar. The offerings are displayed on the left, the functional areas on the right. Functional areas are largely used to group applications by organizational units like departments. So for example, the procurement department or the payables department, etc. This image shows how Oracle's functional areas relate to FusionX.io menus. To learn more about the ERP functional areas or the functional area flows, application life cycles, etc., watch the ERP pillar functional area flow lesson within each of the different discover areas. Fifth topic, ERP pillar applications. This slide shows the applications within the procurement functional area. Functional areas and applications are dynamic. They will change over time, but it gives you an idea in the menuing how you go from pillar to functional area to application. Sixth topic, Oracle's definition of ERP. It's worth noting that Oracle's definition for the term or acronym ERP is different than the industry's definition. Oracle defines ERP 
as finance procurement and projects. The industry defines ERP resources as finance procurement projects, but also other resources, air quotes, such as customers, suppliers, products, people, etc. Hence, the industry's definition of ERP is much broader than Oracle's. I would not be surprised to see Oracle change its definition in time. Seventh topic, how to stay current. So we talked a couple slides ago about seeing current applications slash functional areas. Another great way to stay current and research application information is to use docs.oracle.com. That should always be current. Okay, so you should now understand what Oracle Cloud pillars are, what the ERP pillar is, the offerings and functional areas contained within the ERP pillar. If you don't, watch the video again, it's free. If you do, congratulations, you're ready to move on to the next lesson. So that's it for this presentation, but it doesn't have to be the end of your learning journey. There are thousands of free videos just like this one. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. We want to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Okay, as promised, here are the five steps you can perform today to start earning free badges for your LinkedIn profile. Step one, navigate to panamir.com and either sign in or join now, it's free. Step two, in the upper left, under the Discover menu, select the course that you want to watch and get badged for. Step three, watch all of the different video lessons in that course. Step four, when it's complete, send your LinkedIn profile and the course you watched and your user ID to badges at panamir.com. And then sit back and wait for step five when we attach a badge to your LinkedIn profile.